want to never go to jail I'm fresh up out the gutter, I don't know if you can tell A hustler for everything I do, I do for legacy You can call me any type of day, my dog, I never sleep The only rule I got is if we don't embarrass me I write down my problems, then record it just for therapy Just for clarity Old clubs selling out of here to do stadiums Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius I keep it too real for real, and that's what, that's what made me rich that's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. But straight ahead, it's a matchup of unbeatens as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Start the drive here with an end around. And a great job there to lead that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. A hit as he throws there in the lead. So this game on Charles again. It's talking about the two unbeaten teams. And you rarely see such a matchup this deep into a season. I would agree with that because normally you might get one team undefeated for a while. But two teams like this, and I remember in preseason, you looked at schedules and said, I think these two are on a collision course. It'll be interesting to see if they actually get there, and they did. And to me, the winner of this game has to win the crown Super Bowl favorite. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. You look at this Eagle defense. They come into this one ranked number 17, so just starting the bottom half of the league against the Pats. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because... They know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get out of roll early. Chip away at their timing. Here's second and ten. Going back to Love. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. Oh, man, that's a deep turn. And that depends on third down. Oh, what you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Love looking to throw it. That is caught. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big gain of 31 on third down. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. Ready? 
So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Again, it's Love. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Reed. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Love now. Escaping the pressure right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. <laughs> Absolutely frees up your guys elsewhere. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. To throw now, here's Love. Touchdown, Packers! A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You look at this Packers defense. They put together a strong effort last week in the win over the Bears CD. No matter what coverage was called, they were in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long. I mean, they were running the routes with them. Turned out, they were right there on every single ball thrown and came away with five interceptions. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. On second and 11 now. Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Eagles hit a perfect 5-0 and here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this off to Swift. And he'll be out of bounds 
is just shy of the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. This defense for the Packers, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot on almost every snap? If the ball was in the air, they took it away. If the ball was popped free, they picked it up. Five takeaways in last week's. And Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Lucas Van Ness getting three there to bring him down. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Back to throw. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. Ready up. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Six-nothing our score after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. search of four yards here to pick up the first down now love he's got his target that's complete and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30 a good pick up there 26 yards first down green bay So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Love. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback. And make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. Second down. Love. Buying time to his left. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first. He brought coverage, but he found a way to move with his long His ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. 
The Packers on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Love. tells his defense don't let them score off of this you've got to put out the fire in fact in 2021 that's what one nfl coach termed his defense the firemen go out there guys and don't let them put some points on the board the eagles offense set to begin their next drive and this ball game, clearly the game of the year so far. It's not very often that you find two unbeaten teams playing each other this late in the season, but that's what we have here, two heavyweights in the NFL. You write about that, and you think about recent memories, so uh, let's take a little ginkgo right now and go down memory lane, right? 2007, 7-0 Colts, 8-0 Patriots. The Pats won 24-20. They end up going 16 and 0 in the regular season before they lost in the Super Bowl against the Giants. How about 2015? 6 and 0 Broncos, 6 and 0 Packers. Denver won 29 to 10. And in 2020, Steelers and Titans were both 5 and 0. Pittsburgh won that one. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down. Play. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. They need two. Here's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. ready to get their next drive underway and they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend and Charles this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days yeah they certainly are but let's face it partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one they've got to take care of business first after the incompletion here's second and ten from the 20 out of the shotgun it's love Flushed out right. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing. Love. Forced out to his left. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On 
play action. Love to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Going up top. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 56 yards. Ready. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jordan Love taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Firing quickly out wide is Love. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Okay, ready? Operating from the gun. Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked. Weaving through traffic. And now he's free. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. Just had to hold on to the ball. 
Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. And that trims the lead down to nine. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They can re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action with Hurts on the move to his left. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now a second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. Packer pressure and down he goes. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Rashawn Gary able to record his fifth sack of the season. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. He belted that thing, a leg of steel at an even 70 yards on the punt that time. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. First down going to the air with Love. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. Ready? 
to throw again. Love. He's got his man downfield. That's Bateman. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A gain there of 30 big ones. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. Now the big play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Love from the gun. Got a man down the field. It's Bateman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Going back to Love. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Love looking to throw it. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Again, it's Love. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football. Worked so hard to get his feet down in bounds, tried to do the toe tap. Uh, my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really? By yeah, the that, that he is. How about that? What about Young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross. It didn't generation. carry over. No, it stopped right there. Let's go. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Love. They go play action now. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 of the 19. They overloaded that time the safety, so he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. for 70 yards this is a different game but as it stands field goals are good just keep adding to that lead and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback already at the line this philly offense set to go 
And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked up by Jair Alexander. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception, Love. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick, and the Eagles are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Now Hurts looking to change the play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to be dropped quickly right there at the 48, a couple yards shy of midfield. A good pickup there, 21 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Two yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Again, that's Watkins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Touchdown, Eagles! DeAndre Swift from four yards out. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? As he created with a play like that. And he come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Turn out across the 45-yard line before going out of bounds. 
Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, I throw with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Here we go. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Love now. A short throw to Musgrave. But he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Love. His throw incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. To the air again, Love. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 27 yards there, a first down. to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Second down, Love. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week, but he was over 70%. He's only 50%. Yeah, that comes precise he was and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that and thus far they've been successful this offense so far on third down they've been very good five for seven thus far this will be a tough third and 18 to pass here's Jordan Love no way to turn this time and he goes down Rush. So here now is Anders Carlson in a really big spot. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Hurts. The kidder here, it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Throwing his hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. 63, 63, 63. to throw again. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this game has not been short on intrigue, but that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown, and when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception... That means defeat. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively. So they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Love. He's going to go up top again. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though. Two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Let's go. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Firing quickly out wide is Love. Oh. Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. 
Here's Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Love looking to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Carlson on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. This is first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Pass complete. Goddard into space at the 45. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here's first down. sets up to throw it eluding the pressure right and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete now that'll bring up second down another throw there off the mark and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions things just haven't been true to form for him I don't know what do you think's going on out there CD that's a great question and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So a win here for the Packers, and it was thanks in part to that.